What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Mihao Builds. And I hope you like pie, because I made a lot of pie cuts. Um, probably not the best way to be spending my time when I should be packing, but we're going to do this. So on the C30, first things first, uh, we're gonna pull off the old downpipe and then we're gonna start making a new one. So I'm going to reuse uh, this V-Bend flange because that's the one that came with the turbo. So I'm just gonna chop this and then uh, we're gonna make the rest of the downpipe. I don't like how close this one sits. We're gonna try to cut a little bit more and have it drop down through the hole nice and easy there. Yeah, should be pretty fun. Oh, that color is so interesting. So confused at what happened. That was weirdness with the camera. Don't know why everything was so blue. Uh, it's good now, okay. It's getting late, so I'm gonna cut a couple of uh, straight sections, different lengths of this tube. Um, this is what I used to make the pie cuts. But I did those before I decided I was gonna record anything about the E30. I'm gonna make a few cuts and start tacking things together. have an assortment of pipes, just gonna clean them up and I'm gonna get started on tacking some stuff together. All right, let's see uh, how this stuff can start going together here. So we have that guy, we have a single pipe cut, and you can see it. I didn't want that piece anyways. Okay, so far that alignment is way better than previously. There's actually space on this side. It's not sitting right up against uh, the valve cover. Um, marker so I know where it's supposed to sit. section uh, packed together. This is how it's gonna fit, just like that. Gonna make it go down there. Um, so time to get the next pieces figured out. Done, we can get it on. Alright, so we got the first half of the downpipe on. Um, now we need to figure out. This is weird. Okay. Alright, so uh, we got the first half of the downpipe on. Uh, and now we need to make the second half and then the rest of the exhaust. See what it looks like. They are welds, they will hold. Not perfect, but I'm not perfect. Okay, so I tacked a couple more guys together here. Now it's under the car. Put a tack on it right here, and then try to put it down. Like a glove. 
Memory card's full, I need to go charge it. Um, I'm gonna weld this guy up. I'm gonna put it on the car. All right, so I have uh, this last section of the downpipe, it's welded. Um, I just need to go under the car, mark it where it's gonna attach to the downpipe. I got a V-band flange, ah, V-band flange welded to it. So then we can make the, the rest of the exhaust should be pretty easy. Um, so yeah, gonna go underneath now, mark this guy, take the downpipe off, weld it, downpipe plan is 100% complete, except for the wide band, uh, the O2 sensor bunks. So yeah, let's keep going. This guy's gonna be going here, something like that, just need to mark it. Um, and then you can see the wastegate tube right here. That's gonna be coming out a little bit further and it'll be attaching with a V-band uh, right there to the exhaust. So, whoop, and it'll meet it. And then downpipe will be right here and complete. So that is a beautiful piece of work from years ago. Um, 666 Fabrications made that manifold. I don't think he's uh, doing that anymore, but it was pretty sweet. Getting the tungsten in first. And so now we just need to take this guy, line up these marks we made. Right there, boom, sweet. Yeah, I can do that. All right, the downpipe is 100% complete. So I'm gonna get this back on the car. The only thing I will still have to do is position my uh, 302 sensors. And other than that, this is this is ready to go. Back on the car. Nice. So let's get under the car. I was told some packages were just delivered. Make the rest. All right. Goodies, we got here. Flex pipe, cool. Forty-five, cool. Another forty-five, and a V-band clamp. Sweet. And then we do have. Uh, All right, uh, so the rest of the day for me here, as it's late, it's almost eight o'clock. Uh, so there is the V-Bend. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is make a couple final cuts and line up the muffler and everything and just kind of tack everything in place and then tomorrow i'll actually weld it so my phone died when
someone tackling that stuff in place and stuff that my camera and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, here we go. Glove laying on the ground. <laughs> um, so I got all that. Tacked right there. And it's going down that way. It's going to be a pretty uh, straight exhaust. It's going to go a couple 45s. And it'll be pretty great. I need to find some bolts um, to put on the hangers. And put those in place. I'm going to take the whole exhaust off. I'm going to TIG it so it looks a lot better than a flux cord welder because that's pretty terrible. So I got these hangers. They're just gonna get welded to there. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Apparently I forgot to click record. It's too early to be doing this. Like 6.30 in the morning. Um, but these are held in place now. Uh, so now we're just gonna make the last section. It's gonna be V-banded to the muffler section, kind of like a cat back. Uh, so yeah, let's get these last few sections here figured out. And that's how you get a noise. Um, so open the last section of straight tubing I bought so I can finish making it. And it's a little bit big. This is like three and a half inch or four inch tube. Whole exhaust is three inch. Um, so of course now I can't finish uh, uh, until I get the right tubing. But what I can do is I'll pull off the front section of the exhaust and I'll uh, weld all that together and wait for a new tube to come in to make the last, uh, last section there in the back. One little section left. I don't know what kind of stainless this is supposed to be, but uh, it's doing some weird kind of bubbling. What kind of trash is this? All right, so all of this is welded. Just need to weld one more V-band. And then, since I still don't have other exhaust pipes, I'm gonna drill some holes here and uh, weld on my O2 sensor bugs. This one's all done. Uh, gonna bolt it back up to the car. And then we start uh, the O2 sensor bungs. So we have the exhaust pipe. It's right up here. Lines up nicely with the down pipe. I'm not going to bother uh, putting this clamp on right now because I need to remove the downpipe. So, and then we're just going to make this tube that's going to come out and connect right there. Alright, so I just need to make uh, this arc a little less aggressive so that they sit nicely. And I'm going to end up putting uh, one, like two, and a third go through sensor bung. So you can mark our locations. All right, so I have marked my holes. So one's gonna be sticking up that way, one back here, one back here, and uh, all will be good. So need a drill, and then um, step drill, make them bigger. And then we'll weld these guys on. And that's that. After further deliberation, I realized that the PLX device's wideband module that I use 
Um, it actually has a one volt output that I can use for the narrowband signal. And then it also does have a five volt output that I can send for uh, the ECU for, for the wideband, uh, which means I just need to use one sensor instead of three. So I don't need to drill three holes and weld in three bungs. I just need to do one that simplifies things just a little bit. So let's get to it. idea here use a hole saw instead of going through like 30 different drill bit sizes we're using a step drill and then just a weld in one bung at 15 degree angle facing away and yeah Let's see what happens Okay, now we have to uh, get the next part ready for welding, which is going to be drilling the hole um, for the wastegate return, return wastegate for the wastegate connects to the exhaust. Um, so it's not just an open wastegate tube and obnoxiously loud. So I'm gonna go mark that and then center punch it and drill it with the bigger hole saw. Hopefully it goes just as easily. And then we we'll start welding some stuff. section of wastegate tube and, and figure out where I'm gonna put that V-band. So here we go. Okay, so I have to remake the top portion of the tube because I didn't realize there wasn't a bolt in there. So uh, it was actually hitting the downpipe one of the correct orientation. But this guy, I'm going to cut right here on the angle. So it'll weld on kind of like this. And I'm going to put the V-band clamp right about here and then finish the rest of the tube. Okay, uh, first part has two little packs. Uh, let's see if I guessed right. Kind of tacked together, minus that terrible uh, hole that blew through there, but it's all lined up to where it needs to be. I'm gonna take it all off now and TIG weld it, and then just need to make that last section back there. So this is what I got going on here. Uh, wastegate two. Just need to take this guy up. I have this section which connects to the wastegate goes on there and then I just need to do the O2 sensor bung and once I have that done at least I no longer need to remove this stuff hopefully for any reason for a while um, and if I do it's all on V-band clamp so super easy to do.
right, so I've got uh, pretty much everything welded except for that last section, still waiting for the pipes to come in. But wastegate tube is on. The front part of it, right there, gonna bolt it up first in the downpipe and put this guy on. of truth. We'll all be damned. Let me get the V-band clamps on. And this is uh done. And that is what it looks like when it's all connected. All right, uh, this is all welded up. The only thing left is the hangers. So well, I'm gonna go place this back in the car and then weld some hangers on, maybe tomorrow. All right, so it is all welded on. a little bit eventually hopefully and stop hitting. Yeah, 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 stuff happening. Yeah, More Yellowstone stuff. Yeah. It's important, remember guys, take a break from building cars and enjoy yeah, yeah. life. 